Okay. We are live. It is filtering. I don't know. I was having internet connection problems, but we are live. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I want to thank you for tuning in to Up Close and Personal with Angela. I am your host, Angela Thomas-Smith, and I have Belinda Houston with us today. She's going to be sharing a little bit about who she is, her brand, and what she has going on currently. For those that do not know who I am, I am the founder of AALAC. Is the African American Author Literacy Awareness Campaign, and I'm also the CEO of Aspiring Authors Magazine. I want to thank you guys for tuning in on today. So, Miss Belinda, 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 tell us Hello. a little bit about yourself. Well, oh. my name is Belinda Houston. I'm the mother of two children, Kaylin and Dante. I'm the nanny for five grandbabies. I'm the author of Take Off the Mask. I'm the founder of Hollywood Finance Entertainment. I'm the host of Author Corner. I'm a national doll agent for Elite Dolls of Faith, which is a sisterhood, delivered of life learned lessons. And I am the president of the Queen City Dolls. And I'm the founder of God's Gift Baby Ministry. So I wear a lot of hats right now. I see, I see, I see. So you are an author and you are Queen City. Queen City Dolls. You got a lot going on. What's the name of your book? Take Off the Mask. What's the name of your book? Take Off the Mask. Yes, Take Off the Mask. So how long have you been writing? How long have you um, it, been writing? It took me 10 years. I kept How putting it on the back writing? burner. And um, it took me 10 years to write my book. And um, Take Off the Mask is about things that I endured in my life and have overcome. So it's a, um, a intimate collection of poetic expressions, themes and stuff that I've been wanting to say and had the opportunity to put it in my book in poetry. And when did you write this book? I uh, wrote this book two years ago. So have you always wanted to be a writer? No. So what, no. Inspired, you, what inspired you to become a writer? Well, I know I what you I got, I, got huh? you got in trouble. I got in trouble at church and my pastor at that time told me to come talk to her and I went to talk to her and she told me to start writing down my feelings and, and stuff in a journal and when I started writing it in my journal a lot of things start to surface and I started writing and it turned into poetry. So how long ago has that been? Um, that's been about six years. So how did you come up with the title of your book? Well, um, I was wearing a lot of masks and um, so when I started taking off my mask to the, the things that I had going on in my life, I felt free. So a lot of it deals with like the hate that I had for my father and I no longer have that hate anymore. So I'm, I was able to heal from that. And to this day, me and my dad talk and we have good conversations and you know taking off the mask to the drug addiction that i had um my mom mourning death my grandmother being killed so i had all of this balled up in me so when i started writing and i was like oh this is a mask 
Now I have taken this off and I feel good about it. And when I talk about the things that happen in my life, it's still a healing point for me. So when I can talk about it, because there's somebody else that's going through the same thing that I have been through. Amen. And I feel that if I'm sharing my poetry, that it will help somebody. Amen. Because I truly believe that, you know, a lot of us, are, um, we put on masks every day. And some of us put on masks and don't even know we put no masks because we just so used to it. And we right. so used to hiding behind things and 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 letting things um take over us. I remember some years ago when I was in college and <laughs> I can only talk about my experience, I tell you. I remember when I was in college and people would come up to me, um, some of them would say they didn't know how to take me at times because I looked like I was ready to go tear somebody up and, 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 and I could just, my looks would kill you. That's what they said. They say, if looks could kill, I would be dead. Oh my. And I tell you, <laughs> I had to start realizing that, you know, I was allowing, you know, things that I had no control over control my life. And we have to learn how to take control of our life and not let things that we can't control consume us because that's what we do. We allow right, it to right. consume us. And people don't realize that when we carry around a lot of hurt and a lot of hatred with this inside of us, it can cause illness. It can bring on sicknesses and it can kill you from the inside. And people don't understand that. Hell so that's why it's very important to learn how to forgive and to forgive others. So I applaud you for um, sharing your poetry and hoping to help inspire somebody, hoping to help encourage somebody to remove some of those masks because we all are guilty of wearing masks. And if anybody say they never wore a mask, they not telling the truth because no, we all get behind something in our life, whether consciously or unconsciously, we've all had to take off a mask. So I applaud you for sharing your journey and taking off the mask. Um, do you happen to have your book with you? Oh, yes. Okay. So show us the cover of your book. And then maybe if you could read the back of your book, just kind of give the list, those that are watching and maybe listening, um, kind of um, what your book is about. Okay. Say so Hollywood Finest oh, Entertainment is to bridge the. Um, is to bridge a gap between the LGBT and Q community, the hetero community through events and retreats and social gatherings. Um, the founder of Hollywood Finance Entertainment, Belinda Houston, having to deal with the struggle of her family, um, separation from church hurt, judgment at the public with her own lifestyle lives that with understanding that some of the fears and judgments and unnecessary separations could be avoided. So um, because of the things that I've endured, the concept of take off the, please, I'm in a, I'm in a, what's out um, The concept of take off the mask was birth. This book is more than just lines or poetry and words. It is my heart and my life poured onto paper. My goal is to reach everyone who has or is going through a rough time and who is willing to listen and learn from personal struggles and victories. So, amen, amen, amen. The mask, so I, I talk about the hate for my father my past relationship, my future relationship, the addiction that I had, um, um, poems about my daughter and well, and my grandchildren. So, you know, it's just enlightened and it was a journey for me to go through the things that I went through 
and I'm able to talk about it. And sometimes when I feel like that nobody really wants to hear, you know, I pick up my own book and, and I start reading the poems that I have written. Amen. Amen. So when you was writing this book, did you experience writer's block? Yes. Do you experience writer's block? <laughs> yes. So how do you deal with um, writer's block? I started praying. How do you deal with that? I started praying and asked God to guide my mind and my hands. So when he took over, it can be two, three o'clock in the morning, and I just start writing poems back to back. And I knew that it was him because I didn't think that I could write poems the way I have written them. So I was relieved, you know, God relieved me and 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 put it on me and I was able to move forward. So if there's someone out there listening today or watching um, or hear this replay and they're going through some things and, and, and they're dealing with some of the things that you have named um, in the beginning, if they're dealing with some of those things, what would you encourage them to do? I would encourage them to pray to go to someone that they know that they can talk to like they pastor, um, a family member, mom, and share with them what you're going through. But then if you don't have anybody, you go to God. And you write, I write down a lot of times, I'm amazing, you know, um, God loves me. I am worthy. And as long as I keep those things, those words in my mind, I, I function no matter what's going on around me because I know God has a purpose. And if God had a purpose for me, he has a purpose for someone else. Amen. Through me. So if I'm able to do that, I I do that. And talk he definitely has it. a purpose. Um, I truly believe that. You know, I, I trust in Jeremiah 29 and 11 because he said it in his word. He said, I have a plan for you to prosper you, for you to be in good health, for you to have hope in the future. So I truly believe that he has a plan for each one of us. And there are people lives that we are supposed to impact and make a difference in their life. So I do not um, believe it's a coincidence. Um, no one um, that crosses your path is a coincidence. It may be a reason in the season that they come in your life, but everyone that comes in your life comes in your life for a reason. You know, when when we were conceived in our mother's womb, everything was ordained then. You know, before yeah, we were yeah. even conceived, you know, God knew who was who we was gonna come in contact with before we even even was even thought about. So right, right. He, He's already planned out all of this for us. So we just have to walk in that that He's promise for us and called us to do. Um, our life is already planned out for us. We just have to walk in manifestation of those things. So we have to discover our purpose. Um, yeah, it's, a struggle. it's a struggle. It's a struggle every day. You know, but I've overcome. You know, my biggest thing that I overcame was the, the drugs. And that right there was really a, a challenge. And, you know, I, I'm able to talk about it freely. You know, being on drugs ain't no joke and having no money ain't no joke either. But who have more money now is me because I know where my money is going and it's not going to that. So that right there is a blessing by itself because I could have been dead and gone, but y'all get to see my beautiful face on live. 
Facebook. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. Because God had a plan for your life. You That's know, right. sometimes we get out of track and we do what we want to do because he gives us free will to make choices and to choose what we want to do in our life. But he, he loves us. And I don't believe that he will allow us to go too far and to get too far gone before he can pull us back in there. And I, I tell you, I ain't always walking straight and narrow. And I'm going to make some old mistakes. If I live a little longer, I'm going to make some old mistakes. That's what I tell people. None of us are perfect. You know, we learn from our mistakes and we grow from our mistakes. Um, that's that's just a part of making mistakes. You know, and he all, he told us he that things are not going to be easy. That's why he sent his son, Jesus, to be here with us. You know, he suffered on that cross for a lot of the things that we've been through, a lot of the things that we're going to go through, you know, but he endured that so that we wouldn't have to endure it. So I thank him for that. And I'm often reminded by Luke 1 and 37. He said, faith, <laughs> it's a faith. It does not make things easy. It just makes things possible. That's People right. Gotta understand that. Anything yeah. is possible. Everything is possible. Yes. Everything is possible. But he never said it was gonna be easy. So I thank you for coming on because I know it's never easy to share your 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 journey, to share your testimony, and to be transparent. So I thank you for coming on and sharing that. Um another reason why we're having this interview is because um you are a part of the I am owning my truth anthology. Um, it's an anthology of um, was supposed to be 30 women, but it's only going to be 24 women um, of 24 women. We're sharing our journey um, on on and our truth, um, things that have affected our life um, that we own um, that has made us into the person that we are today. And Belinda is one of the 24 ladies that's taken a part of this project. And I am super excited to have our part of this project. I want you to share with um, those that are listening um, why you chose to be a part of this anthology. Once again, it gives me an opportunity to share my story and for someone to read it and can say, I'm going through or I went through this or I know someone that is going through this and able to help that person or help themselves. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, I thank God for the opportunity. So sharing, expressing, telling my story, I'm, I'm all for it. Amen. Amen. Because the word of God say we overcome by hearing of testimonies. Um, there's somebody out there that um, need to hear your story um, and those other women that are sharing in the um, devotional. I think someone out there will um, be touched by um, each of the stories um, because somebody can relate. You know, we all have a story and okay. um, you know, my story may not be your story, but your story is just much needed as my story. So I thank God for us being able to come together and share in this anthology. I thank him for allowing me to be the visionary of this project. Um, would you like to share with the listeners um, what you're going to be sharing um, in the anthology or would you like to keep it a secret? Well, I talked about my drug addiction and um that yeah, I talk about my drug addiction because it's really it really goes into detail of a lot of things that I went through. And then it goes into telling how I overcome the addiction. And I'm still walking by faith. And loving every minute of it because I don't have the taste for the drug for cocaine anymore. So when you get get our book and you read my story, 
please feel free to hit me up on Facebook and and, and tell me how you like it. But um, I know for a fact it's going to reach somebody, someone. It's going to reach them. And they're going to feel what I was feeling while I'm, they're reading and I'm telling them my story. Amen. Amen. And that was the whole that, that was the whole reason why I wanted to do that is because a lot of people are not going to church. A lot of people, for what reason or another, you know, a lot of people are not doing the religion thing right now. And for what reason or another, um, we need to know still that Jesus is still in control. God is still performing miracles and that there, they have to be the word in our lives. And we have to learn how to apply the word to our daily life in order for us to, you know, to be blessed. That's you know? right. And the word of God is the word of God. Coming. Let's still coming. My second book, um, the cover of my book is being made by um, Lisa Santiago. And um, and this um, Marriage Secrets and Lovers is actually the sequel to Take Off the Mask. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm real excited about that. And um looking forward to everyone purchasing Take Off the Mask and Marriage Secrets and Lovers. But you're gonna need both. Really so how can um how can the listeners um get in contact with you those that are watching how can they get in contact with you um facebook um belinda dare to be different houston on facebook so um inbox me or you can send me a message on um my take off the max page Send a friend request. I'll friend, friend you on there so you can keep up with what's going on with Belinda Dare to be different. You said. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to thank you for coming on this evening, sacrificing your evening to come on and share with us. Um, you have been tuned in to Up Close and Personal with Angela on behalf of Aspiring Authors Magazine. I want to thank Belinda for coming on today. Um, if you guys have not went over and checked out the magazine page, please go over and check out the magazine page um, and check out the magazine. Our July issue is set to release July 25th, between the 25th and the 30th. If you did not get a copy of June issue, please reach out to me and um, I can give you the link where you can order it or um, I ordered a couple extra copies and we can get you one. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in on tonight. Um, please join me tomorrow, um, 12 p.m. noon, and at 1 o'clock, I will be up close and personal um, with some new and upcoming authors right here live on Facebook. I want to thank you again for tuning in on tonight. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night.